300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the James Madison Dukes and the Wisconsin Badgers. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Badgers, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. Number one, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Second, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Up fake. Good fake. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Both teams are looking to get something going here. Yeah, that's basic. On the inside, looking for the foul. And they get the turnover. Hammers it down. Number 45 with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. Inside. He tries a jump hook. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. The small forward handles the feed. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Spencer handles the pass. The Badgers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. James Madison have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Time to pick up the defense here now. They tried to double-team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. Stolen away. They run it up into transition. Wow, take a look at the mascot. He's going crazy after that last dunk. He's jumping all over. He looks like he wants to fly. I love it, baby. Love that enthusiasm. Trying to pack it inside. The push of that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Drains the shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Let's see the replay on that one. Chapman receives the ball. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Now they'll bring it up. He's open if he wants the shot from the top of the circle. Way off target. Oh, yes. The power forward receives the pass. Stolen away. Here they come now on a turtle. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Inside, 
And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He's got an open look for the shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. Here's a flash from the high post. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Bed the low block. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Both teams looking to get things going here. He's got some room. He dials long distance. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. From the top of the key. Great shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on Ian Chewy because he's beating him to the spot. On the outside. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me, that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Top of the circle, knocks it down. The skip pass is picked off. King is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Whistle blown, basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people in the foul trouble. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shows patience waiting for the reset. With a great block. The last line of defense is a good block. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Let's it fly. James Madison are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the three ball. Goes in. He'll regroup 
with the offense. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. And he missed. He gets the board. Up and inside. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Unloads a three. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He puts up the tray, makes the shot. Takes it off him. He pushes it up the floor, always looking. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Wisconsin have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Jumped in front to take it away. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Basket falls despite the contact. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Fires away, he buries it. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Two, they really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Well, Dick, it's early, but I tell you, you don't want to be in this kind of spot in an NCAA tournament game in the first half. I tell you, it's only one game. That's what makes the NCAA so special. It's one game, one bad night, and the party's over. How many times we've seen that mid-major shock the big club because they come to play right from the start. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. If you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Pushes it up. Nice hops. There's a double team waiting there. the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Makes it. Pick 
picked off. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play half play, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. To the charity strike. First one, good. Both free throws go. Intercepted. On the top of the circle. He hits it. This one deserves another look, Brad. Here's a double team. Tries to get the D to bite. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. It's stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Wisconsin are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Takes away the pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. He nails the shot. He fouled him. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. There's the trap. Good job defensively. Looking for a good shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. James Madison are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Sinks the shot. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow.
Gave it up. Picks off the pass. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He takes the three. He drains it. The Badgers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. There they come with a double team to stop it. off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pump fakes. Double team now. Bad angle. Stolen. Nobody got back. Defensively, rotation was very poor. On the outside, got an open look if he wants it. He shoots from the elbow. He gets the bucket. Shot clock is dead. They'll work it around the arc. He intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Big shot off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Badgers trail by one. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Wisconsin seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to really to win. And a momentary look from three-point land for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, getting great block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Intercepted. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Dickie's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. We're going to move it around the perimeter. It's stolen. And again, they look to run. Top of the circle. There. He posterized them. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He goes to the line for the first time. That's a seven-zip run.
There's a double team waiting there. Tries a three. That's good. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. There's a slam. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Knocks it down. Great defense. Looking for a good shot. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the free throw line. Cashed it in. Second one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Makes the third shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Jumped in front to take it away. around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. He intercepts it with the hook. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Here's a double team. Takes the pass in the paint. Gets it back out. Nice fake. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. off the lazy pass. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see wall man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They move it into the front court. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Fakes a jumper. He lets it go. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> Controlling the ball. He draws a foul. 
And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. And he got them both. The small forward takes the pass. Kicks it out. Has the screen up on top. James Madison is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Picks off the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Sinks it. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes in. The Dukes are up by 15. The center gets the pass for the bucket. And he missed. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player to attack the basket. Takes it off him. They get out on the break. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. at a three. He gets that one to fall. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That's a 7 nothing run. Moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He drains the bucket. <laughs> the center takes the feed. He's going to muscle it. He blocks the shot. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's Harmon, Mr. Nestler. Harmon shot select. Gave it up from right in the circle. Scorches the net. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Up and inside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. The small forward with the, he blocks the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best.
steals the pass. The point guard gets the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. It's good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Wisconsin are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Pressure that basketball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. High post flashes. They work the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. He nails the bucket. How about a replay, boys? Kick out. Defense giving some room. There's the trap. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Thanks, Aaron. Picked out of the air. Working it around the perimeter. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. He looks for the bomb. He hits the shot. Taken away. it around the perimeter picks off the lazy pass up and inside from three-point range not a great decision there to shoot the ball hey Brad their shot selection has been questionable too many outside jumpers they've got to attack inside and then out Momentary look from three-point land. From the top of the circle, Wisconsin are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Steals the ball. Watch this break right here. For two. Easy one. That's a 10 nothing run. Get ready to resume the action. In the paint for the deuce. Doesn't go. He posterized him. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Stat goes to the line for the first time. Doesn't go. Pulls down the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. He strips him clean. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. 
Yeah, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He gets it to go. King picks up the that bucket counts and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. Here's a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. He goes to the line, shooting one. Free throw is good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive team. Makes the block. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post flasher is open. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the three. He hits the shot. He intercepts it, pushes it with a quarterback pass. Stolen ball. Wisconsin are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Unloads. Rims out. Stolen away. That's a foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Picks off the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Double team now, bad angle. He takes it away. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Spencer, modest play, is having a negative effect on his composure emotionally. He couldn't be much lower, I don't think. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Owen draws the personal. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. Just like in practice, they're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Hits the second. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. On the outside, sets a screen for his teammate. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. 
They will line them up. Well, the arc looked good. Hits his second. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Looking for contact. He hits it. He launches a three, way off target. He up fakes. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Off the rim and no good. On the top of the circle. I tell you what a big three that was. Unbelievable. Step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. They'll work it around the arc with a deep shot from outside. He missed. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. The lay -in. And the ball goes out of play. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. That's basic. Wide open for the shot. There's a double team waiting there. Ten seconds to put it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive in advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Dukes open the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.